We are going to study how to create a scene and transition in this lecture. And we are going to check 3D layer and 3D camera for 3D space. And vintage style color correction with uh, effect with tint. And we are going to make a transition with the Luma mat. You guys remember this artwork? You used many layers when you create this artwork, but you need to merge layers when you make the animation. So select the control or command key to select these layers like this and press command E or control E to merge layers. Do the same way and I merge the layers to create the five layers like this. This is a scene one for animation. This artwork is for scene two. Press command option C or control alt C to check the canvas size. This resolution is bigger than HD. Uh, HD is 1280 by 720. The reason why this canvas is bigger than HD is because you need to make a painting animation with camera in After Effects. This artwork is for the scene 1 and this artwork is for the scene 2. So go to After Effects and select the two files and import as a composition. And double click on scene 1 composition. No, I don't want to see this guideline. Press command and control semicolon to hide this. We are going to make a 3D space. To make a 3D layer, click on these icons like this. And then go to the view. So click on one view and select the two view horizontal. This is top view, this is active camera view, same is front view. Select any layer you want, then you can find the anchor point. Anchor point is changed with red arrow and green arrow and blue arrow. That means the red arrow is X axis. And green, green arrow is Y axis and blue arrow is J axis. So you can make a 3D space. Let's check this animation. As you see, you can see three dimensional feeling. That means you are going to use 3D layer and 3D space and 3D camera together. When you drag your layer on G axis, you can make a 3D space. So select layer, the cloud layer, and select the g-axis on top view, and drag it on g-axis like this. Then you made a space, but when you see the front view, I don't want this black background. So select cloud layer and press S to open scale, and expand your scale to hide black background like this and then select the main layer and drag this layer on G axis so you find the same arrow so select the main layer and press S to expand the scale edge do the same way for all layers like this you made a several segment between layer and layer like this select all layer press U Select the empty area of timeline, click right button on your mouse and select new and camera and set, uh, select 50 millimeter camera. This is default. Press OK button. Then you made a camera on your composition like this. This is the angle of camera. This is the camera. But when you use a camera, you need to use null object together. Click right button on your mouse and select a new and null object to make a null object like this. You need to make a relationship between null 1 and camera 1. So select the whip pip and drag it on null 1. It means camera 1's parent is null 1. So you don't touch camera anymore. You just adjust null 1. Because the camera follows null 1, make a 3D layer, press P. Make a keyframe and move at 4 seconds and make a keyframe one more and select the first keyframe and 
adjust your g axis value like this then you can go to on g axis i want to see just the crowd i don't want to type you anymore so go to the one view to check the ramp preview press n to make a ramp preview work area press spacebar to see ramp preview like this yeah you can feel 3d space because you use the G axis like this. Mm. I wanna make a shaky handicap effect together. So select the narrow one and press the option and Alt key and click on the stopwatch icon. You can see expression window and write down wiggle W I D G L E like this. And Press spacebar to see RAM preview. You can check the shaky handicam effect on your camera. Select all keyframes and click right button on your mouse and select easy easy. Then you make your animation smoother. You remember that. You create the same one. So go to scene to composition, double click on in. This command or control K to open the composition setting window. This is the resolution of this composition. You need to change it with H resolution like this. And press OK button. You need to make a 3D layer to make a 3D space. Um, select the name and erase this icon to make a normal layer and then go to to view horizontal select second layer drag it on g axis to make a segment between layer and layer and do the same way all of layers to make a several segment on the g axis select this question layer we are going to make a pop-up scale animation from bottom of this shape so you need to move your anchor point the bottom of this shape so select pen behind the tool and drag your anchor point move it with y axis and set on bottom of this shape like this and select selection tool to move this layer the place you want I don't need to see top view anymore so go to one view select one view and I want to make a position animation with this car so select this car layer and press P make a keyframe and move this car on Y axis the left side of this composition and move your uh, time indicator drag the car on x-axis outside of composition like this and press n press spacebar to see ram preview for a second step i move my time indicator at three seconds and then the pop-up animation will come out as three seconds like this press s to open scale make a keyframe and set your percent and drag it in time indicator a little and write down 100 percent and this is a pop-up scale animation so you don't need to make a more keyframe you need to just copy keyframes and paste keyframe to repeat this animation select two keyframes press ctrl c or command c to copy keyframes and drag time indicator and ctrl b or com command v repeat again and repeat again so you made uh, many keyframes with the copy and paste this is pop-up scale animation you make a walk area for ramp preview and press spacebar to see the ramp preview speed is so fast now 
so I want to adjust this speed so select all keyframes like this and press the option key or alt key and click on the end keyframes and drag it yes you can make your speed slower and i want to make a smoother animation select all keyframes select any keyframe you want and press right button on your mouse and go to keyframe assistant and select easy easy that means you made your animation smoother you can make your animation more natural the last step to select the, the name layer and make a position animation it depends on you select all layer press u to close the layers and mouse right button click and new and camera select the 15 millimeter camera and you need to make a null object select the right button click on select the null object like this and make a parent and child relationship like this and select the null object and make a keyframe and drag on x-axis but I don't want to see this background black background so you move to hide this area so expand your scale of sky layer like this and go to uh, 7 or 8 seconds and uh, move x-axis like this Then you made a painting animation of camera. Press the option key and click on stopwatch icon and you can see expression window like this. It's uh, right down wiggle like this. The same way, the same one. And select the two keyframes, right button, and easy, easy. Then you made a handy cam, shaking handy cam animation, like this. So then press right button on your mouse, select the adjustment layer to make a vintage style color correction. Down tint on your effect and preset such a window select tint to drag it on the adjustment layer then you can see the property left to top side like this so you can adjust the amount of tint then you made a vintage style color correction very easily like this and then one more thing i want to make a stormy effect so write down snow then you can select the CC snowball like this and drag it on adjustment layer again. Then you can see tiny snow effect on your composition. You can adjust options until you are satisfied. Press spacebar to see RAM preview. Click on scene 1, scene 2. You made the two scenes like this. You need to combine two scenes to press Ctrl K or Command K to open comp composition setting window. You can write down title you want. And I want to set my duration to 20 seconds. This is 20 seconds. Go to project panel and select scene 1 and scene 2 composition together. Drop down on the timeline and move scene 2. Drag scene 2 like this. It is, you can see the scene 1 first and you can see scene 2 and second. You made a two scenes very easily. And I want to make a Ruma mat transition between scene 1 and scene 2. So select uh, Road Ruma mat source and open it. And the MP3 file for the background music that you can watch together. 
and drag it on scene 2 composition but as you see the source is so tiny so you need to expand the size of this MOB file, the source file and drag to the on scene 2 Let's check bottom of left side. Then you can see three options. So you can check all of three three options. Then you can see track mat option over here. Then select the Luma mat and source name. Then you made the Luma mat transition very easily. Can you see? It? Yes, this is Luma mat transition over here. Yeah, that's it. Press spacebar to see the RAM preview like this. Yes, but I think the slow uh, speed is so slow. So you can check the stretch option. You can reduce the percent. Then you can find it is very it is faster than before. Is the percent like this and. Press spacebar to see the preview. You can find the speed is slower than before. You can adjust speed of animation uh, when you adjust this stretch option value. You made the transition very easily, but there is a little problem of this en uh, ending. Um, you cannot see anything animation after the source so you need to copy this scene too so press command D or control D to duplicate this layer press option or alt key with square bracket like this you can cut the front of the indicator like this that mean you can see transition and animation all together. I don't need to time after 16 seconds, 28 frames. So press Ctrl K or Command K to adjust the duration. 16 seconds, 28 frames like this. 16 seconds in 28 frames. So press OK button so you reduce the duration like this. And select the mp3 file for the background music and drag it on the timeline and click on this arrow then you can see the options yeah decibel you can see the waveform like this but I want to make a fade out music so make a keyframe and drag the time indicator and adjust decibel like this you can see the sound died away to the rendering you can go to the export Adobe Media Encoder and you can select the file make a H, select H264 and make a pass uh, the position you want and then press play button then you made a animation right now